Okay, so welcome back everyone to the Lost Island, and today me and my new lovely raptor friends here will be um, searching for a cinema crops. So, without further ado, we're going to begin exploring around the desert in the hopes of finding one. And they do spawn here, I have tested in a different save before, the other area being up near the top of the map, um, around the sort of 20... 20 to 30 latitude, 30 to 40 longitude area, um, but I figured it'd be more interesting to try having a look around in the desert. So, without further ado, we'll yeah begin wandering around and seeing what we can find. So, I believe, let's go and have a look at this green drop first, although that pego kind of needs to go. hasn't aggroed on me yet. Okay, that is very nice. Definitely have the ammo. Um, compost bin. You know what, I'll have the pipes. Probably not going to need any of the rest of that, though. You know what? Yeah, nah, not going to need any of the rest of that. Probably best to keep the bowler out at all times here. Uh, the 135 Pego, no less. And I think when I do actually find a cinema crops, I will need to um, get these two off of following me because they spook fairly easily and I can't work out just yet whether it's just the player that causes them to be spooked or tamed dinos as well. But yeah, it's probably best if I just bring you guys back when I find one, as I could be searching here for a fair while, as they're pretty tiny and fairly difficult to spot, and I generally find, at least in the desert, they tend to find you more often than you find them. Oh, silica pearls. Won't say no. Could always use those. These more? No, that's sand. Okay. Don't really need that. Presume this is cactus sand. The but the silica pearl. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll harvest all of the plants around it first. Hey, there we go. There's more. That's not worth it. Aha! There are some over there. Right. So. Let's have a look. Okay, there's a dire wolf. And that appears to be it. Okay. That is manageable. So let's get down here. Ouch. Where are my raptors? You gonna come down here? Okay. No, oh, it's only a level 20. Yeah, I can, I can kill that. Get some of our first pelt of the season. What are you two doing? You've got stuck in each other. Excellent. There we go. Right, now I'm going to assume that the dire wolf probably scared off the uh, cinema crops. Yes, okay, trying to try and locate where they ended up.
Which is annoying, because they were in quite a safe spot, actually. You have some arrows for me. Thank you. Where did they go? Okay, I could be here a while looking for these. Okay, so I have located one. And here he comes towards us now. Rather slowly, but... And I think that's him been spooked by the raptors. Okay. Alright, let's just follow where he goes. Actually, I don't want to sprint, because I'd rather not eat the requirement of water. Because that could be problematic. That's a terror bird. Lost that one. Unless he happens to be around here somewhere. No. Alright, uh. Time to start searching for another one, I guess. Okay, so I see another one up ahead here, so I'm gonna get the raptors out of the way this time. Then gradually approach towards it. And here we go. So now we just need to stay stock still until he gets to us. Or not. Okay. Not sure what spooked him there. But. Okay. Well, this is good. <laughs> I thought I saw another one over here. Okay. Alright, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> okay, so I found another one. Let's see if this one will actually get to me without spooking. There we go. And it got 28%. Okay, so we'll just have to repeat a few times. Okay, yeah, it definitely just got spooked by the raptors, so. Though, provided it stays in this area, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oop, there goes another one. If I go and stand round about here, 
should be able to see me from here and come back to me when it's finished being spooked by the raptors. Here he comes. And there we go. And a level 85 is a pretty decent first one. I'm fairly happy with that. Here he comes again. Alright. Let him fly away. Just gently follow him. And hope there isn't something like that. Crap, of course, there's a second one. level as well, so I would tame you if you weren't a complete issue to me. Actually, is it worth this over the spin? Not really. You know, crops has ended up miles away. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try and sprint out of here to just get to him because. Having that tamed will make it much easier to just get back to the raptors. Will you sod off? This is one slight problem with taming these things. Um, can't have a creature, but if you don't have a creature, it's very difficult to keep the stuff that will spook it dead. That's gonna hurt. Yep. What the? You enjoy being killed by the dial.
Here we go. There we go. Alright, and then we can just use him to fly away from them. Provided he keeps stamina, of course. Although, we can go into a glider mode by pressing C. Um, don't know about the button for console. But let's just get rid of the taming tracker. Uh, and go and refine the raptors. But there you go, that is pretty much how to do it. Um, just, obviously, if you're up in the top area of the map where they spawn, it's a bit safer, the things you're going to be fighting is things like Dillos, so this area it's a bit more dangerous, you probably want a better creature. One that you can just put away, use to kill everything, and then put away in a cryopod, rather than having it uh, put to the side like I did. Uh, but yeah. Um, still relatively simple and now that we have this one we can just kind of fly and glide around uh, as we please um, and he will also if we hold on there we go if we hold E no not I E R we can get to this so we can set him to enable auto scream when something aggroes um, which will get rid of small creatures and auto kill mega Nero and things I think and we can use him as a backpack so we can put all of our chitin away in here and we can give him a hat and let's do that there we go it's a little cloth hat which looks ridiculous but oh well And then the other thing is anything you put in his inventory will weigh half what it does. You see it weighs four in mine and two in his. So anything that's heavy that you're carrying around, you can just put it in your cinema crops and he'll carry it at half the weight. And here they are. So there we go. Um, uh, I think now with that one tamed, probably don't really need a second one just now. Um, would be cool if we can breed them, but I think I'll wait till a bit later on when I can a bit easier get a couple of higher level ones to do that. Um, so with this one done, I think we'll um, we'll try and head back to the canoe now so that we can get back to our base. Okay, so I have successfully managed to find this 130 here on my way back, so I'm going to see if I can tame it, as it is a male, so I would be able to breed it with my one. Uh, the raptors, hopefully over there, will be out of the way, but uh, we shall see. That Titanobo is going to be an issue in a second, isn't he? Yep. Uh. fly while you're crafting. Interesting. Let's send the raptors there.
or 102. Yeah, okay. Once they've finished with the uh, Hynodons, I will add you to the rat pack. One for luck. That should be enough to knock you, I think. And I do actually have some prime meat that you can have. Okay, you're dying. Never mind, you are dead. Ah, stupid hyenodons. So you are annoyingly going to take six feeds. I guess I kind of have to just stand here until he comes back inwards? Uh, yeah, this could be interesting. Um, gain. Thank you. Okay, did knock out. Okay, it'd be nice if you came back towards the shoreline, buddy. Ah, here we go. There we go. Oh, I just spooked him, didn't I? Oh, crap. should now come down to me. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. There we go. Except his taming percentage is still going down. Right, thank you game. Here we go, and then we just have to hope he gets to us before the taming drops below, I think, about 83%. Oh, okay. Whew. That's got to be one of the luckiest saves of a tame I've ever managed. And the raptors are still back there, but we're back by the base. Hmm. <laughs> well, that went 
interestingly. Come down here and land, buddy. Okay, no. Alright, let's just have you follow. Um, we'll go and recollect our tames and then get back to the base. I'll see you guys when we have done that. Okay, and we have successfully made it home with our new tames, so... So we're just going to park up on the beach, just a bit closer to our little um, home, and then we'll end off the episode there. So yeah, we successfully made it home with all of our uh, new creatures, uh, and so yeah, I will conclude the episode there. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please um, give it a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Oh, and before I forget, also do feel free to leave name suggestions for any of the... Uh, raptors, xenocrops, or the moss chops we got in the last episode, because I won't remember to name them, so feel free to leave suggestions if you are so inclined. With all that said, thank you, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.